my name is Daisy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing my brand new microphone. This is the Audio Technica AT4033A and I'm really excited about this because this is the first time I've upgraded my audio since I started streaming. If you've watched my Twitch streams or if you've been a sub to this channel for a while you know that I love technology. Uh, I like to think I'm pretty savvy with it too uh, but when it comes to audio I am clueless. I have no idea. Um, but the team at Audio Technica Australia have been super rad and they've been holding my hand and walking me through the process of upgrading. So they've been super rad. They sent this out to me. And they didn't ask me to do a video, but I'm just doing a video because I wanted to. And I wanted to share my audio upgrade journey with you guys. Also got a, uh, a mixer. So this is a uh, XLR mic, uh, which means it does need a mixer. It's not USB. It needs a audio mixer. So I've got one here. Uh, and this one is nice and simple, which is good. And it's going to work with my dual PC setup, which means uh, I have one PC for streaming, one PC for gaming. And for the longest time, the audio has been so confusing because if I want audio from one PC, it's like has to be routed through. But if I want to use a microphone on both PCs, it's like impossible. I don't, it's, it's hard. It's hard. So I'm just like, Screw it, I'm upgrading. So, cheers Audio Technica for um, holding my hand and walking me through this. All right, let's open it up. So, we're gonna slide it out of its box. Some help. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to open it up, this up. Yeah, oh damn, that's sexy. Look at that. Look at that. It's got like a box thing. We've got something that's fabric here and something here. So, um, firstly, what is this? Oh, it's like a little... Something to store it in? Oh, it's like a little, a little blankie. So put it on your, on your microphone when it's sleeping. You'd be like, good little microphone. Have a good nap now. You know, because you gotta look after your microphone. We have, uh, I imagine this is like boring cable stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a mount. It's a shock mount. Yeah, it's like a shock mount. So, uh, shock mounts are good. Uh, so you need like a, an arm. So I recommend to get an arm for your microphone uh, because if it's on your desk, it'll pick up like every little bit of movement, uh, pick up your keyboard like keys, uh, pick up like everything. Uh, so an arm mount kind of like helps get rid of that. Also just kind of puts it in a better spot rather than like here, like on your desk, it kind of puts it like wherever you want. Um, but then this shock mount also adds additional shock value Pun. Um, so when you, so if you're like playing your games, you're like, that's BS! Or whatever swear word, uh, your, your microphones look like, whoa, man! So it kind of keeps it from shaking when you're having your rage moments. I'm not a big rager, but I do rage occasionally. So this will help out for those moments. And it looks cool, it looks cool. And it gives you a better angle. So yeah, cool little shock mount. And then we got this thing I'm most excited for. Look at this, damn. That is sexy. It's like a sexy little envelope. I feel like I'm opening up some mahogany cigars or something. The Audio Technica AT4033A is a cardioid condenser mic, which means uh, it's kind of good if you have like a dedicated like office or streaming space. Uh, it kind of has like a fan effect, uh, so it will kind of do like what's in front of it kind of from a fan effect. Uh, it's also a large diaphragm mic. So this mic in particular I wanted because uh, it has like a larger pickup. I didn't, I don't like having microphones kind of like in my face on stream. I know a lot of streamers do that, but I preferably prefer to not have it visible. There's a dog. Um, so yeah, this is great for that, that I can kind of put it off uh, cam a little and I still be able to pick it up. Downside is it will pick up a lot of external noise. Uh, so like dogs barking, uh, it will pick that up. So I have gone to a lot of effort recently to soundproof my office uh, because if I've got a nice microphone now, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to uh, get the most out of it. My understanding is, so as a cardioid mic has like kind of that bigger pickup, but a dynamic mic has like a smaller range pickup. So a dynamic microphone is one that would you would put more in your face. Uh, so you get, I think, a lot uh, nicer sound, I believe. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be very much in your face. So for me, cardioid is the one to go for for me. I've been using the uh, Blue Yeti for the last like four years uh, and it's fine. It's fine, but I, I, do I want to be fine? No, I want to be. I want to sound like smoothie, buttery, caramel. And, all right, so let's open this up. It says Audio Technica. Well, yeah, 
in. Oh, go away. Yeah, look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's, it's kind of tiny. I thought it'd be bigger. There we go. There is the microphone. It's kind of tiny, but damn, it's sexy. God damn, look at this little logo. I really like the Audio Technica logo. And the black is like this matte black on the side. And on the uh, side, we have some buttons. We have a uh, low cut with some angles. Don't know what that means, but I'll find out and tell you. And a uh, pad. We have zero decibels and negative 10 decibels. Don't know what that means, but we're going to find out together. This is a journey. This is a journey where we learn how to audio good. Now, if you watch any of my old YouTube videos, you will see that I am terrible at audio. So this is a journey. Come, come along, my friends. So I'm gonna put you back in your little um, coffin grave thing. Before we set that up though, I wanted to open up uh, this with you. So this is the mixer. So, um, so USB-C audio interface. So uh, USB-C has faster pass-through. Um, and yes, it has two inputs for two different XLR microphones. Um, and I'm acting like I know what I'm saying, in the, but I just, I've been told this is a good one. It's a good one, okay? Uh, what is this? This is the uh, Pre Sony Studio 24C. And yes, well, let's let's just open. It. Ooh, it's cool. It's like metal. Um, but yeah, so in the front we have mic line in. So I guess the microphone goes there. If I get a second one, it goes there. So I'm hoping uh, where I can look at like a wireless virtual reality setup. So I do a lot of um, VR streams and uh, yeah, trying to find look at options for do a wireless VR microphone. So that'll be cool that I can plug it into that same mixer. And then you have some dials. Um, don't know what they do. <laughs> This one's for headphones, I can tell you that much. Volume for microphone number one, this is volume for microphone number two. This one, don't know. It says inputs and mixer, I don't know. Uh, main, don't know. Earphones, can work that bit out. And at the back we have a MIDI in and out. And uh, we have main out and we have a jack for earphones as well. Yeah! There's gonna be a lot of trial and error. I'm the type of person, I'm a kinesthetic learner. I learn by doing things, plugging it in, playing around and working things out. Like I don't like to sit there and read instruction manuals for like 5 billion hours or like having someone explain to them me how to like how this stuff works. So I like to, I just like to jump in there, jump in the deep end and learn things. So that's what we're gonna do together. So I plugged in the cable, I put it around behind my desk, uh, it's gonna need some cable management, but story of my life. Uh, so I plugged in the audio controller uh, and I've installed the software, don't know if I need the software, but just in case. Uh, so I'm assuming this goes into microphone in the first one. Just shove it in there, do I? I don't know. We, uh, it's in. 
So I've been using my microphone for a couple of weeks now on stream and I think it definitely does sound a lot clearer to what I was previously using. I'm still getting used to it a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I could uh, experiment a little. We're trying to get the sound uh, a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. It's a little bit hard without comparing it, um, but yeah, it's definitely, I think sounds a lot clearer. Uh, which is really nice and I think there's like really high kind of uh, sounds like if I like squeal or something on the stream are a little uh, less hurtful to people's ears so that's really cool um, but yeah the the mixer was really easy to set up I still need to work out how to get it working with my dual PC but as it turns out I'm getting a new PC anyway so yeah I don't have to worry so much about the dual PC setup anymore but still keen to try and improve the audio setup for my VR streams. Um, but thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget you can watch my Twitch streams on twitch.tv forward slash nazy. And make sure to subscribe uh, if you want to catch more content in the future. Uh, whether it be like tech stuff, Beat Saber, gaming. Uh, let me know what content you want to see because I'll have it all. And don't forget to leave a like for this video because it supports my channel. And uh, it's heckin' rad. So um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. And stay awesome. Bye bye now. Okay.